Who remembers this? Oh, uh, tell me I'm not the only one, old lady, remembers this. But, also, it's from my kids' playlist, because my nephews chose it, so that means kids like it. So, I decided let's do our part two, and let's make our fun nut butters. If you guys, Jacob Shane, please and thank you. If you guys have never made your own nut butters before, it's super easy and super fun. So today we're going to make a base from Brazil nut because I picked up a bunch of Brazil nut the other day at my grocery store on a wicked deal. But you can use any nut or any seed of your choice to make this. I have lots of videos on YouTube about how to do it too. Now, I'm going to use the unblanched nuts because I like a rustic nut butter. Now, you're going to get almost half the quantity. So, if you use two cups of nuts, you're going to get about a cup of nut butter. So, we're going to do about a cup and a half. And the first thing we're going to do is just get that to grinding up. I use a Ninja, but any food processor is going to work for this. We'll start getting them ground up. This is how you make your own nut flowers and meals too. I'll show you that as well. So at this point, and that took, what, 30 seconds, we now have either Brazil nut flour or meal, whichever you prefer to call it, and you can put this in a container and bake with this the same as you would with almond or pecan or walnut. So to make it butter, we're going to continue grinding and we're going to add some good fats. So let's grind it a bit more. See how it comes into butter by itself? Now here we're going to add our good fats and any flavoring that you want and we're pretty much already almost done. So to get the spreadable you want to add your good fat. Today we're going to use some MCT oil and some avocado oil but you can use any fats that you want and the amount is going to depend on the texture you want. So depending on the dryness of your nut base and how smooth you want it to be. I say start small and then add a little bit more oil as you go. And we're going to get that blending again. I like to add just a teeny bit of sweetener and a little bit of pink salt to mine. You don't have to add either if you don't like, but I like a sweet and salty nut butter. So I add just a sprinkle of pink Himalayan salt and about a teaspoon of allulose. Sometimes a half of a teaspoon depending on what flavor I'm making. So we're gonna give that one last blend and then we're gonna split it in half and we're going to do two different flavors today. How easy is that? That's it. That's homemade nut butter that you can make by yourself. So if you don't want to spend the money on a jar, you can make it at home. If you don't have time to make it at home, you can buy a good quality product in the jar. All the way around the board, we can have that convenience. So I'm going to stir this all in, and we're going to split it in half, and we're going to do a flavor creation. Now, this will set up a little bit more solid when it cools down in your cupboard. So right now it's a little bit runny. 
but it will set up some sitting in the cupboard. So we're going to take half out. Might be a little bit more than half. Eh, close enough. A little bit more. And this half, we're going to add some vanilla flavor extract. And we're going to add a little bit of cookies and cream flavored extract. So we're going to add about a quarter, well, closer to an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. And then only one or two drops of the cookies and cream flavor. It's really strong. So let's just do one drop. And we're going to mix that in. And then we're going to add, oh, cookies and creamy. And then we're going to add some chocolate chips. And then we have a chocolate chip cookie dough, Brazil nut spread. So we're going to add in our chips. And then everything is already in your spread. Just a couple more chips. We want it to be all chocolate chippy. And then let's put that in the jar for you guys to see. So we have our chocolate chip cookie dough. Brazil nut spread. Oh, so yummy. And how nice would that be on a one minute muffin? We're going to use it to ice the tropical Kuma shake mug cake that we made just a little bit ago. So there's our cookie dough Brazil nut. And then let's do our last flavor. We're going to add some cotton candy flavored extract. About two two to three drops because we're just using that one flavor and then we have all these fun colored coconut sparkles to add some in and you just take your shredded coconut add a little bit of food color and voila there you go so we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of each of the colors and that is our cotton candy unicorn sparkle nut butter with brazil nut Let's get all the colors in there. We got all the colors of the rainbow. And this is the fun part. If you have kids cooking with you, they get to do this part. They get to add how much color and how much sparkle goes into each one. A little blue and a little yellow, and then we're all done. Jacob would like to be the star of this show, please and thank you, with his radio. Uh, life is fun at my house. It's Saturday. How's your Saturday? So, we're going to get this stirred up and into our jar. And all the colors will swirl together. And there we have it, our homemade unicorn nut butters. Let me grab a spoon so I can show you guys what it looks like. Maybe, maybe just a knife, I'm out of spoons. With all of our swirly colors inside. So I'll see you guys soon. We're going to decorate cake. Bye, guys.